Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I thought that I might do a new segment on my channel called New Plant Wednesday. So let's get things started, shall we? Um, I shouldn't, no, it's not called New Plant Wednesday. If I got a new plant every Wednesday, I would be broke. So let's call this New Leaf Wednesday. Yeah, New Leaf Wednesday. Okay, so let's start off with the Monstera. The Monstera delicios, deliciosis, Latin, not good with it at all. Um, it has one, well actually two new leaves coming on it. And these leaves, I'm not sure, I've, I've heard where five leaves on one single plant, that fifth leaf, should I start over? Okay, so you have a plant, and if that plant has four leaves on it, then that fifth leaf would be a leaf with fin finist finistrations on it. I can't speak at all today. I think it's because it's so cold out. Um, it's like the low is seven. So anyway, the fenestrations on this plant have not appeared yet and I'm gonna be waiting for the rest of my life. But uh, the new leaf, I don't think that there will be any fenestrations, but let's check it out. Okay, so here we are at my Monstera Deliciosis. Delici de I want to say Deliciosis. And this is one of the new leaves that's unfrilling. And if you can, if you can see this, this would be like one plant where the leaf is coming out at. And this would be leaf number four. So there shouldn't be any fenestrations on this single like plant node, I guess you would call it. It would have to put out one more leaf before there would be any fenestrations. So we'll, I'll keep you up to date on that. There is a new leaf coming in right, right down here. I don't know how well that's coming in. You can kind of see it. It's a tight little curl. And that might be the fifth leaf on that one. There's one, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, that would be the fifth leaf. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one. So the other plant that I have here that uh, has a new leaf is Little Phil. Little Phil is a little philodendron. Um, actually, Little Phil is not that little. He's a little crazy. So Little Phil, uh, he, he's just a little wild. Um, Every time I say that, it makes my sister laugh too. But little Phil hasn't had a new leaf since I got him from Josh's Frogs a year ago. And I think the reason he hasn't had a new leaf is because I've treated him like crap. So little Phil is putting out a new leaf right now. Um, I did get a new grow light, which is helping tremendously with making videos. And let's check out Little Phil's new leaf. So when I say Little Phil is a little wild, this is what Little Phil looks like. And there is Little Phil's new leaf. See, have you ever seen such a crazy little like thing going on there? It's like, it's trying to pop out, but he just can't. So that is Little Phil and Little Phil's new leaf. L Little Phil is actually kind of a 
leathery feeling philodendron. Um, it's very tolerant to neglect and abuse. Um, and just plain, simple green foliage. So the next new leaf that I would like to introduce to everyone is from my Sansevieria Bonsol that I introduced you guys to in another one of my videos. It was looking really harsh. Um, I had I had it in just a glass jar because I had really bad fungus gnats last year when I got it from Indonesia. No. Uh, it, it came from Taiwan. That's right. Um, it came from Taiwan and I just left it in a glass jar with water and uh, it was doing great. It was surviving. It was putting off new leaves and then it was just like, you know what? Nope. Don't like this. So I put it in my window seal thinking it wasn't getting enough sunlight and then the tips of the starfish shape point, they started to turn brown and they died. And I was, I was heartbroken that I didn't take care of it well enough and decided that I was gonna try to save it. By the time I ended up cutting all the, the finger leaves off or whatever, it no longer looked like that typical starfish Sansevieria shaped plant, it just, it looked terrible. So I want to introduce you to its new leaf. Okay, so for those of you that don't remember what my Sansevieria Bonsol looked like after I got done trimming all of the dead points off of it, it looks like this. So I noticed the other day, and hopefully it will pick up on this, if you look down inside you can see a little tiny pointy thing it's getting a new shoot in there and I'm pretty sure it's picking that up on the camera my shadow is just kind of getting in the way let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit right there right there you guys see that my Sansa Varia Bonsol is coming out of its sleep. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, I've decided to just do three, three new leaves per video, I think is what I'm gonna try to stick to. Keep on a regular basis. I hope you've really enjoyed this. Um, that way, It'll kind of keep you guys up to date on what my plants are doing, um, how they're getting along, making sure that I'm staying on top of things. And I've really enjoyed making this short little video for you guys too. Um, I know that I like watching everyone's plant videos as well. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so you can get notifications on how my plant collection is doing awesome and I would really appreciate it. So anyway, have a great day and I will see you guys later. Bye!